This is a room I come in to meditate. Um, everything in this room has some type of special meaning to me. This was given to me, a special candle, when I retired last month by uh, the girls I work with because they know I like to meditate and do yoga. This I got in Sedona. It all has special meaning. These rocks, when I was on a retreat from the beach, um, I just feel like I like to surround myself with good energy. Anything that'll help with healing. This is from a, my best, my very best friend who passed away. And um, this picture was also given to me by my sister-in-law and my brother, who are very special to me. It says, make time for the quiet moments as God whispers and the world is loud. And meditation is very, very important to me. Um, it heals me, it takes away my anxiety, it takes away um, a lot of fear, worry, gets me calm, it gets me to a beautiful place that I can't even explain unless you did meditate yourself. People don't know what it's like, you know, they take it for granted having normal legs. I know I have an eating disorder because of feeling so depressed about these legs and then, you know, you'll give up and all that other stuff. So um, all of that has, and more psychological, you know, like my husband, like a lot of people, I always say a lot of people heavier than me would not deprive themselves of wearing a bathing suit or shorts or anything, but I do that. I don't wear shorts. And I wear a bathing suit, but it's really hard for me with people that I don't, you know, that friends and the guys, you know, it's just really, I feel like a freak. You know, this is what I, this is all psychological. I feel like a freak, you know, because then I see some people that are much, much heavier than me and they have very beautiful, you know, ankles and slim calves and they can look nice in a dress. But I said, thank God at my daughter's wedding, I could wear a gown, you know, because when I go to weddings, I wear plaza pants and, you know, that's what I do, because I don't choose to put the focus on these ankles and legs, because I've seen a lot of like sad looks at me, you know, at some people go, oh, what's wrong? You know, I get that. I have gotten that. I was told I had venous insufficiency from the doctor on Staten Island. I went to her a couple of times. So that's good. She prescribed the pump to me. But, um, but no one else really said anything. The last one, like I said, was last summer that said, that's what she said. She did the Venus Doppler and then had it done. And then when she came in, she said, there's really nothing I can do for you except for maybe liposuction. So I, I thought maybe she just didn't want to say, I have, you have fat legs, so maybe she just get liposuction. <laughs> I think that's what she was trying to say to me. So I said, really? I said, all right, that's it. And I left so defeated. It's not uncommon to see venous insufficiency in patients right. who have swelling and then, you know, trying to discern it. And right. one of the things that um, we talked about was the fact that usually you want, if there's a venous component, you want to try and deal with that mm -hmm. prior to doing liposuction that. because, you know, that, that's, um, that's just going to set you up for more issues. Yeah, I don't want, I've been through a lot. I really don't want more issues. That's why I did nothing because I really was unsure of, I didn't want, I've heard people having more problems or it just didn't work, stripping yeah, you, or the venous closure. I think you need to go see someone who does a lot of venous surgery yeah. and who's, you know, not just doing cosmetic veins but is a vascular, right. does vascular surgery. It just, um, you get a sense of what's there. But unfortunately, I think the mainstay for if you have deep venous issues, mm -hmm. it's going to be compression. For superficial, mm -hmm. they may try and treat some of these mm -hmm. with uh, to, but whether that's going to be enough to make you a good candidate for I know down the stuff, line, um, I'm right. not sure. Undoubtedly, your venous disease has been present for a long time, which is why you've noticed varicose veins for a long time. Mm -hmm. So probably dating back to your pregnancies mm -hmm. a long time ago. All of these can be addressed. The, the techniques that are used to address them vary based on their size. Okay. And in this case, this main trunk vessel needs to be laser closed because mm -hmm. that's the one that has reflux. Okay. OK? 
okay? So the thermal ablation, the laser ablation treats the main trunk vessel reflux, mm -hmm. the microphlebectomy and the sclerotherapy address mm -hmm. the remaining branch vessels, mm -hmm. okay? And that's certainly something that can be offered to you. So this would that's give me it. a little relief like in pain? Like a little it bit, would, I, I would expect it to give you some relief. Okay because we're addressing the venous component of yeah. your overall situation, uh -huh. but not complete relief. Oh yeah, no, I because know, a I lot know of I'm not the, gonna have gorgeous. Right, well, <laughs> a lot of what you're dealing with yes. is from lipedema, not right. from venous reflux. Mm, and the really? venous reflux mm. in the overall picture, I suspect is a minor component oh, of okay. the issue. I mean, I'm grateful, I could have something so much worse. I have legs that I can still walk in. You know, I can I can still walk. It's painful, but I walk through it. You know, I walk. I'll just keep walking. Um, so I have a lot to be grateful for. I'm not really, I'm not saying, you know, but it has been something that I've lived with my whole life.